What's up guys, Strike here coming at you with another Batman Arkham City walkthrough and today we're going to be doing the amusement, my old character, like Riddler trophies and all that stuff. Um, first to start off here, uh, let's go ahead and first take care of... I think all we gotta do is bring this one up from the water. Oh, nope, this was a amusement, or a, whatchamacallit, trophy. Uh, let's go down here. Okay. I hate these. I hate these stupid freaking ones, they suck. Four, three, one, five, two. You gotta count them across and then number them. Three, four, or three, three, five, two, one, four. Of course, they are numbered one, two, three, four, five. That's the way I do it. That's just the way I do it. Um, this one's a pain in the butt. Ugh. Ugh. I hate... No, shoot. Ooh, so close. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Now that we got these open permanently, that's what happens when you take care of the first one. Ooh, ooh, that was pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie, that one was pretty quick. Uh, I'm going Jeff Goldblum on you guys. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, uh, let me just take out those. Oh, by the way, we are doing this in the Batman Beyond skin, as you can see. One of the uh, fan favorites of the different skins that are available for the game. Uh, Batman Beyond tends to be... Wow, I did this in one take. Um, Batman Beyond tends to be a favorite among many people. People used it in the Arkham Origins DLC uh, stuff. Is there something down here? Because there is definitely... Whoa. Okay, that was weird. I'm pretty sure there's one over here that I totally almost missed because... Yeah, there's one down here. This is not one that I uh, quite often remember. This is one of the ones I tend to forget, I guess. Um, yeah, this is one that I'm not too familiar with. I completely forgot about this one. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, now that I've visited it again, of course, I, I of course remember it, but, like, it's just the idea of this one. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Get me out of here. Alright, so we got two buildings in this area. We've got Bane's hideout here, the Cranko Toy Factory. And then we have... Uh, let's talk to Bane. I will kill you for that! Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get me out of the building. We okay. Back to the gargoyle here. We've got our riddle. And it, the answer is right here. It's Arkham Island. Unlocks the story. Then we've got the bat signal here. That's got a riddle. So many trophies down here. Alright, let's... uh. 
crap. There's a Catwoman trophy over here, I believe. Yes, it is. It's right here. But... Actually, before we continue any further, let's go ahead... Oh, wait. Near, turn around here. Now let's go ahead and get in here. So we can get the trophies that are in here. Let's get the buildings out of the way. I believe, if I memory is not failing me here, that this is the last building in this section. Now, the trophy right here. Hate this frickin' door thing. The first time in the entire game, the GCPD, oop, that's the wrong control thing. Um, the first time in the entire game where we get to go into the. Where we get to go into the GCPD without any, uh, enemies and whatnot. So, get this out of the way. Nope, that is not... It's not what I wanted to do, Batman. I don't know why you did that. I don't remember, is there anything in here, or is this just part of the story? I guess this is part of the story. Oh well. Ah, oh, crap, I just remember. Alright, you know what? Let's do this first. Wow, okay. Totally just. Alright. I'm a bit rusty. I have not played this game in quite some time. So please excuse. What we are going to do. We're going to go back out here. We are going to play a really tricky game of Fly the Battering, Batman. Holy flight controls. And if I screw this up, once I get it through this door, I'm going to be very upset. Because this is... Oh! I'm an idiot. I should have not turned it that soon. Okay. Alright. Supersonic shock battering thing. Oh, it would have been so cool if in Arkham Origins, when you give him the shock battering, or the shock gloves, he could have charged batterings like this. Don't know why I'm bringing it up in Arkham City, considering the fact that, uh, I have had Arkham Origins done for... Let's, I didn't want to take corner cover. Um, gosh, uh, how many months away is July? About three months away. I've had Arkham Origins done for probably about nine months now. Is there anything left in this GC building? No. Okay. Awesome. Unless I'm totally forgetting something. I do not think there's anything in that room because that room is like what's left of the Mr. Freeze boss fight.
One of them being this sucker over here that is on my screen that's underneath this Gotham building right here. This one is a pain in the butt. I cannot stress enough how much I hate this one particular Riddler trophy. Now let's get those blue. I did this on the first try. I am so proud of myself. Like, guys, you don't even know. I hate that Riddler trophy. That Riddler trophy's a butthole. Um, like, I really hate it. And somehow, I got it on the first try. So, tops to me. Yay, yay me. Go, Steven. Go, Strike. Go, Strike. Don't call me Steven. That's weird. Everyone knows Strike is my... And I know I'm forgetting the cameras. I will get to those in just a moment. Once I get... Thank you for dropping in the water, jerk. Mm, I believe this... Oh, gosh. I remember, like, way back when I first played Arkham City, uh, trying to figure out... Because Poison Ivy was one of the last character trophies I got from the game and I remember not knowing where the frick she was and I had like a handful of Riddler trophies left and this was the one that you get her I believe it'll tell you in a second which one you got yep character tro trophy unlock poison ivy like it doesn't randomly distribute the character trophies it will give you them with like the specific character trophy that you unlock oh screw you um so I remember that was one of the last ones that I needed to get before finishing the game the very first time and that's why I know like each time I get that trophy that that one is for Poison Ivy because really because I remember just being like oh my god I don't know where the frick Poison Ivy is because I remember looking through all the trophies when I was a young fragile naive young lad and like I was like okay so I totally got all these characters and I was looking through all the character trophies and I was just like where, who am I missing? Like, who, what character am I missing? And I was just like, oh, duh, Poison Ivy. And I totally forgot about Poison Ivy because Poison Ivy didn't have a huge role in this game like she did in Arkham Asylum. She had a huge role in Asylum, even though at first it doesn't seem like it. And I remember, like, I remember just being like, ah. I was just like, oh my god, like, I totally forgot about her because she didn't have such a big role in this game. And I was completely baffled. And I don't know why I was, but I just was. And I was just like, ugh. Poison Ivy completely escaped my mind. Where the frick, Frack? There it is. And I would like to point out that one of the trophies I accidentally unlocked in, um, one of the character trophy, or one of the character, one of the riddles I accidentally did in my, uh, industrial district video way back when, um, I did that, uh, I accidentally unlocked the scarecrow, that's not what I want. I accidentally unlocked the scarecrow trophy. Uh, the scarecrow mask over on top of the bridge. Two amusement mile. Where is her pod? Okay. This is a riddle. Scan it. You win. All right. And then I believe this is. I believe that's a riddle too. I thought her. I thought her lair was a. Maybe not. Yeah, that stuff about me being a naive young lad, I kind of still am, so put up with me. Oh, shoot. I almost ran right into this guy. Hello. Oh, hello. What the heck? It just rejected me. Okay. I do have to pull this thing over. Gosh, I cannot wait. One of the new features about Batman Arkham Knight is that you are able to automatically mid-glide, use the line launcher, and I'm so excited for that. Like, I can't tell you enough. Oh, that was a Mr. Freeze trophy.
definitely not Batman, I can tell you that. I would like to point out that Batman is not going to die in Arkham Knight. This has been a topic of people's YouTube videos, and I'm just like, really? Do you even have to, like, ask if Batman's going to... Okay, here's the problem with any theories about Batman retiring, quitting, dying, all that stuff, or moving... T there's There was even a... A rumor of him like moving away from Gotham here's the big problem with all of these theories guys Batman is the main character of the game they're not going to kill off the main character of the g oh, shoot they're not gonna kill off the main character of the game when you have to play as him on all the side missions now okay let me let me start off by saying if you haven't played any of these games and you're just watching this video for the hell of it Here's an important fact you need to know. In all of these games, Batman's, um, that isn't touching. Dang it. Where is my raft going? This is annoying me. Batman is the main character in all these games, except for Asylum, because there weren't any, the only side mission in Asylum was the Riddler trophy stuff. Aside from that, Really? Are you s freaking... Mm. Aside from the Riddler side mission in Batman Arkham Asylum, there were no... There were no side missions. Like, there were none. Like, there was nothing else to do. Once you beat the Riddler stuff, the game was over. That is not going to detonate. This is really annoying me. All right. This isn't going to work, is it? I feel like this is not going to work. Okay. Uh, the problem with Batman dying is that you have side missions in City, like in City and Origins, that you can complete either before you finish the story or after. It doesn't matter. So, why on earth would they make a Batman game where you have side missions that you need to complete in order to 100% the game and then kill him off during the story? It wouldn't make sense because you would have to bring him back. Okay, it, w it did work. Um, that's surprising. I stand corrected. Um, but why would you kill him off when you can't really have... I mean, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, if you kill Batman off, what then? Like, what are you going to do after you kill him? You, you can't have him just re-magically, like, appear back to like do all the side missions you can't have him quit and leave Gotham because then he's still technically operating as Batman for eternity depending on how long you play the game after you beat the story I know some people aren't like me but then again some people are like me and they they want to you know complete the game as much as they can um so like it's just not going to happen. Like, I can almost guarantee you that if they kill off Batman in this game, I don't know what they're going to do because it's going to be screwed up. It can't be like a dynamic where you it forces you to complete the story or to complete all the side missions before you complete the story. It just, it just doesn't work. And I know Rocksteady wouldn't want to kill off Batman because I, you know, if they, if they ever do, I know some people don't want them to. But if they were ever to do, like, a Justice League game or something of that sort, then they would need to have Batman alive. Because you can't just kill off Batman and have a Justice League Bat Justice League without Batman. Justice League game without Batman because then, you know, you get people complaining. It's just, it just wouldn't be right. And Rocksteady is pretty much the best. I'm not going to lie when I say that I honestly believe Rocksteady has made probably the best version of Batman ever conceived in media, including TV shows, video games, um, uh, movies, all that stuff. And the only thing that really comes close is Batman the Animated Series. And some people, I, I respect people who say Batman the Animated Series is better than the Arkhamverse. Personally, I prefer the Arkhamverse over the Animated Series because the Animated Series established... I mean, the animated se series established so many great things. Saying they invented Harley Quinn. Without without the animated series, Harley Quinn would not exist in this game. And okay, so you get 
You get hardly coin. Oh shoot! I hate this one. Yeah. Oh shoot! I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna fudge. I'm gonna... Oh dang it! But anyway, like I'm saying, some people believe that animated series is better. I mean, I almost agree, but I I really really can't. Um. Um, animated series is amazing. I love the animated series, don't get me wrong, but, uh, Arkham always will have a place in my heart. They make you feel like you're Batman. That's, like, the thing, big thing. If you make me feel like I'm Batman, you're amazing. I mean, animated series is a great cartoon. It's a great show. Without it, we wouldn't have Mr. Freeze as such an epic villain. Um, Harley Quinn wouldn't have been invented. Is that a riddle? It is. Um... Harley Quinn wouldn't have invented Mr. Freeze. You can't say... Shoot. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna assume there's no riddle here. Um... You can't say Batman the Animated Series... Okay, what I'm basically trying to say is Batman the Animated Series is probably technically better than the Arkham games. Setting, and you, you know, like... I'm just more atoned to, like, video games, I guess. I don't know. All I know is that I prefer the Arkhamverse over the animated series, but Ar that doesn't mean necessarily that the Arkhamverse is better than the um, animated series. Because, you know, the animated series is just such such a... such a classic, you know what I mean? Like, and I believe this is the final upgrade we get. Um, actually, hold on, let me check my, my stats here. We've been recording for about 22 minutes. I got a lot of stuff left. I already know about all that. Amusement miles. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 trophies left, 4 riddles left, the rest of the balloons, and the rest of the, the cameras. Um... I don't think I've gotten all of the informants for this section. Alright, let's make sure I get these balloons. Alright, we got a lot more to do here. I'm not quite out of the woods yet. Tiger security cameras destroyed. Nine Joker balloons destroyed. So we've got about three left for each of those. Um, ooh, this is interesting. Okay, we got a Riddler trophy here. Oh, great. I hate this one. Wait, 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 wait. Give me, give me, give me. Now I can do This is another one where you can't touch the ground. It sucks. As long as I don't touch the ground, I'll be fine. Uh, 
Alright, let's go over towards this way because I haven't gotten... Actually, I think it starts up here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. Oh no, it actually starts up here. Holy shit, we gotta get up here. There we go. Mine one. Mine. I gotta think. I gotta. Get, I definitely gotta remove that one. I gotta think. Go this way. Then. Take out that one. Oh man, I hate Much fun. Oh gosh. Oh dang it, I did it wrong. Ugh. Always freaking ow! I always freaking do it wrong. Oh shoot! It's gonna hit me again. Owie! <laughs> I'll never understand how those mines work. They like automatically reload. Why are there only two people? Over here? Oh no, there's three. Okay, never mind. I didn't even realize that was a Catwoman trophy. Yikes, that's, that, that made me jump. Oh my gosh. Like, I legitimately did not realize that that was a... Now, there is some stuff over here we gotta take care of. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I just remembered. I just remembered. There we go. I've been kind of neglecting the riddle parts of the... Uh... This Riddler run. So I realize I, I get this move. Let me... right back up here.
this one's a bit tricky. got it. Oh, I love this one. This one's fun. This one's a doozy. You'll be frozen. Usually he will alert the other guys. Uh, this place has taken a turn. Oh, that's right, the bear. See another one. Okay. Wow, ah, okay. Let's see what we have left. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, we're almost done. Shh. Wow. We got one trophy, one riddle. Um, balloons and cameras left. So, um, it shows us where the last camera is and where the last trophy is. Let's go over to the trophy. Um, and then let's get the last camera. And then... Let's see if there's like an informant left, maybe? I don't know. Not looking good for the informants, guys. Uh, what the heck? Oh, here it is. Oh, this one's a pain in the butt. I remember this one. All right. Ugh, this one's, this one's a nutcracker. Jumping. I freaking leaned down. Screw you. There we go. Jeez. No, I just hope I'm not spending 20 minutes looking for a stupid balloon. I don't think I have very many of those left. If I get out of here, I'm heading straight out of Gotham stinking city. So, guess what I get to do? I get to go, like, searching for, like, around this whole section for just a stupid balloon. This section did not take us very long. This video so far is only 35 minutes long. And depending on how long it will take with finding this stupid balloon and getting it, um, it shouldn't be that long, guys. I know most of the parts have been around 40-ish minutes, uh, which isn't exactly my favorite. But hey, whatever. It's better than them all being like an hour long apiece. So, I'm just thankful that, I'm pretty sure it's over here, isn't it? Nope, did I get that balloon already? 
I wish I had a thing to tell me. Oh, nope, I have a riddle too. Oops. I'm pretty sure there was a GCPD thing, like, on the GCPD building. Okay, let's see what the riddle is. Maybe that'll help me. If you're afraid, don't be scared to crow about it. It's a it's a scarecrow one, that's for sure. Uh our grow, turn around. If you're afraid, don't be scared to crow about it. I'm pretty dang sure I know what that is. Is that the balloon over there that I was thinking of? I was thinking there's a balloon I'm missing, and it's probably over by those gunmen. It is over there. So there's the last balloon, like, way over there. I don't know if you can see. It's there. There it is. Last balloon. And then the last... Riddle should be, unless I didn't get it somehow last time when I did this video, or when I did the, uh, I'm pretty sure, oh no, it's, it's probably, ooh, I think I know where it is. Oh, I didn't get this one last time for some reason. I guess I didn't do it or something, I don't know. Well, ladies and gents, I believe I am not mistaken. That is it for Amusement Mile. This video is going to be a bit more longer than I thought, but um, this is pretty much the last uh, outside area that we're going to be doing. In the next episodes, we are going to be tackling the... Um, Subway and Wonder City, and that's all we have left really is those two sections as Batman, and then of course I gotta do a Catwoman trophy run, and then I do Harley Quinn's Revenge, which is its own little walkthrough, and then guys, ladies and gentlemen, Batman Arkham Knight will be coming after that. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six videos estimated to be six videos. And yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for uh, watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, or it helped you at all, please like it. Um, add it to your favorites if you don't want to lose it, and subscribe for more Arkham content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later, taters. Now that the video's over, what are you going to do? Uh, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe.